Good morning. I'm going to read out of Mark chapter 7, verses 15 through 19 today. It says, it's not what goes into your body that defiles you. You're defiled by what comes from your heart. Then Jesus went into a house to get away from the crowd, and his disciples asked him what he meant by the parable he had just used. Don't you understand either, he asked. Can't you see that the food you put into your body cannot defile you? Food doesn't go into your heart, but only passes through the stomach. You know, those who know me well know that I am not really a fan of church potluck dinners. To be honest, they kind of turn my stomach. Now, I don't want to ruin it for anybody else, so if you really like those, you might want to skim past this part. And the thought of walking through the line, grabbing the handles of spoons that have been touched by hundreds of different hands that may not have been sanitized, is just not very appetizing to me. Now, before you ask, this is the same reason that I don't care for buffet restaurants either. Just not a fan. And you might think that after reading this passage, I would be tempted to lighten up because the food you put into your body cannot defile you. That's what Jesus said. Uh, you would be wrong. However, God did use these verses to convict me about something, not to ease up about the food I put into my stomach. But what if I were as cautious about the things I allow into my heart as I am about the things I put into my stomach? Would my conversations with others change? Would my TV and movie viewing habits change? Would I be as repulsed by the websites I visit, the books I read, or the podcasts to which I listen? It's not what goes into your body that defiles you, Jesus said. You are defiled by what comes out of your heart. Pray with me. Lord, Help me to be more focused on what I allow into my heart. Help me to see that even as I take great pains to watch what I put into my stomach, I need to take even greater precautions about what I allow into my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.